You're you're watching Bucky Hans Outdoors Cooking Edition. And the key is you gotta go fishing all day. And the first thing you do before you start cooking is you take some ice. Oh, are you yeah, it's recording. You turn on some old hay and you put some ice in the cup. Oh and yeah, you, hon. And you pour some whiskey in it. It'd be better if this was Tennessee whiskey, but all we have today is McAdams whiskey because we're closer to Canada, so Canadian whiskey is cheaper. So you pour some of this in the cup. You have some whiskey on ice, and you turn on some old hay. That's a big ass cup. Mmm. You're drunk as shit. Then you take some fish. Been top sitting out today like this. Some nice walleye. They're a little bigger than I like to keep for a while. And the little ones are more tender. Look at that water, really, bitch. really fertile from all the fertilizer we put in it. So these walleye have gotten really big. And then you get a fillet knife like this. Then you cut into them. This knife could use to be sharpened. I'll just play this the other style. This knife is a little sharper with you a little faster for I sharpen it, but I don't need a drink. This is a really energetic fillet. Yeah. Then here's you know, Hans, I'm watching. Hans, what are you making today? We're making some walleye. It's gonna start as soon as I get the fillet off. Walleye with what? Just walleye. We like meat. We live off the land. Yeah, Our crops ain't land. mature yet, so we live off the land. Live off the land. Must be hunting. I like eating what I kill and catch. Must be hunting. This is like the fourth time I've eaten fish this week, if you want to know. Must be hunting. After the first time this week, comes Sunday, so it's fine. You, you. And this is that is my annoying gangster wannabe roommate. <laughs> He's jealous. He doesn't know how to clean fish and catch fish and kill stuff. I agree, Hans. You're so jealous. Drink that whiskey. Mm. Where's that sharpener? Oh, it's right here. Then you...
Well, we're in the process of cleaning this fish. We might as well start some food. Cause I'm starving, so you'll rinse these off of the sink real fast. Then you cut them up into chunks. Like this. Oh, uh, who's your best friend? You put some pepper on them. Put some pepper on them? And you, you take pepper. some soybean oil fresh from some North Dakota and soybeans there, eh? And you pour it in the pan. How much? You put it snuff. Just like a quarter inch. Then you put some salt on your walleye. Some NACL. Salt's a really derogatory term. I could be putting like calcium chloride too or magnesium sulfate or sodium sulfate on these if I just say salt. So we're putting NACL on these. Oh shit nigga! Then you take some rack crumbs made from North Dakota and hard red spring wheat and you mix it up like this. And you put them in the pan. One piece. Of and this is just a good time eating some fresh killed fish. It's fresh from the Red River, which is a beautiful, nice, clean river. It's dissolved oxygen with 11 milligrams per liter earlier today, so it's a pretty nice clean river. But its turbidity and specific conductance are pretty high. So let me go back to play. These fish are nice walleye. They're a little bigger than I like, but...
She's cooking pretty good. Let's go over and look at that. See? She's trying to get warm, so we need to back to the flip them. So then once it's done this for a minute, you take a spatula. And you flip them. You got it, Hans! Yeah, and then you flip it like this. And I'm almost done cleaning oh. them. I just need to get a little more second left on them. I need to take a little breather, so I need to spray. Yeah, huh? What you doing there, Hans? I'm just taking the skin off the boy. Musky Hans. Yeah, we did okay fishing today. We caught one northern about 24 inches long and we caught these two walleyes. Who's we? Who'd you go or, with? Or, and everyone else around me caught nothing. Who'd you go with, So Hans? I must be really good at fishing. I was just talking to some other people fishing down by the dam and they weren't catching anything. Really? But I was catching a few. Do you go by yourself fishing, Hans? Yes, I do. I love going fishing alone. It's so relaxing. Yeah, Hans. Damn me. Killing all the fishies. I love fishing. And I love eating fish. It's nice for us to cold Yeah, dude. And then you just get a garbage bag. What? Yeah. Where's that tape measure called? Oh, I was just curious how long this one was. And see, our first batch of all is almost done. So we go in our cupboard and we get a pan, a plate. And we put a piece of paper towel on the plate to soak up the grease. Oh, it's just paper. It's Oh, it's I'm just curious how long the one is. And then we take this nice looking wawa. Dude, it must be like... I think it's like 26 feet. Yeah. <laughs> and then... We'll start another batch, so you take the meat. Yeah. Is that fish done? Yeah. Wait a second before you eat it, though. Wait a second. Here's some plates.
then you take some of this done wildlife and you eat some of it. This is really good. So this is how you take wildlife from the river to the table. That's our episode for today.